All right, guys, this is Drake Louisiana Farm, SHOT Show Day 3. I'm here with Ben from Zev. How you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? He's going to talk about some of the new products that Zev has put out. Um, we're excited for it, so let's see what you got, man. Hey, guys, welcome. So uh, one of the things we're kind of most excited about this year is our uh, aluminum grip module for the OZ-9. Yes. We uh, introduced these initially on a project we did with guys over at Warm and Fuzzy. Uh, this gun here. So this one's based on our, uh, our Hypercomp model, excuse me. We let them put their design aesthetic on it. It's a, a beautiful firearm, great project. So after that, very well received. As you can imagine, we had to release the grips on their own. So these will be coming in the next few months. Uh, I think we're gonna launch them in OD green, black, and gray. Okay. And uh, basically, if you have uh, an existing OZ-9 right now, or plan on getting one, this will be compatible with uh, all the same components that uh, we utilize on the polymer frame. So it's compatible with only the OZ-9 platform? Correct. Okay, yep. sweet. Yep. And this one particularly, we started with uh, the ones for our compact frames. Okay. But we are, as we speak, prototyping uh, frames, or excuse me, grips for our longer frames. What's a good price point to so these, just give out on these? These guys right here are 550. They ship with the tungsten yeah. weights and some set screws. So we added some boards here so you could throw extra tungsten weight in there. Nice. So you're, you're yeah. thinking kind of competition use, stuff like that, or even carry, do yeah, everything? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Competition guys really like to have a little extra weight. This way they can, uh, the aluminum does that on its own, but if you want a little bit more, throw the tungsten in there. And it's, a, it's a real flat shooter, especially on this uh, hypercom model. What's, uh, give us some details on the warm and fuzzy duo here. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> so we, uh, we did a, a rifle collaboration with them prior. Worked out really great. They're great guys to work with. Um, this one, like I mentioned earlier, is built off of the Hypercomp model, which is our ported version. Uh, so recoil deletion, you could say. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. that combined with the aluminum grip and the tungsten weights is outstanding. Um, for this show gun, we decided to add the, they did, also did a collaboration with the Jaeger Works with the SRO shroud. Uh, put that on there, as you can imagine. Uh, but this is the only uh, way you can get the FDE aluminum grip. So. Keep that in mind. We're not uh, we're not releasing those as FDE just yet. Our main channel sponsor, we have SDI, Sonoran Desert Institute. Facts. No printer. Have you ever thought about making a living in the firearms industry? If you like learning about firearms, ballistic research, and uh, working on firearms in general, then I would reach out to Sonoran Desert Institute. To learn more, you can click that first link in the description, or you can click this phone number right here. Before we get back to all these cool boots here at SHOT Show, we got to thank our video sponsor today, which is USCCA, United States Concealed Carry Association. Uh, they're doing a gun giveaway right now, which you can enter for free, but it ends really soon, okay? So if you're interested in doing that, you can click that first link in the description to reveal which brand new gun you can win. ATF's here, run. ATF's here, go. All right, so I have in my hands right now a baby Zev, and I'm going to let Ben tell me about it. Uh, OZ-9C is what SC is what we're calling this. This is our answer to kind of the slimline 43X size handguns. Uh, it's going to have the same features as you have seen on the, its bigger brother in the 19 and the 17. Uh, it, its older brother, the uh, SC is going to have uh, a frame that will be compatible with different length grips, different length slide and barrel configurations. The one you see here is a prototype, so uh, don't judge it completely on its aesthetics. This is a printed grip. But uh, when we bring these to market, we're probably going to do um, an aluminum and a polymer grip, That's just like awesome. the OZ9. Yeah, absolutely. Y'all um, have any idea of like what y'all are going to sell these things at, like base model? <laughs> you know, to be honest, not yet. Not so yet? this is okay. this is definitely a it's a priority for us, but it's in line with a few other priorities, right? right? So it's it's kind of You're something on we're it. working towards. Yeah, we just wanted everyone to know that where our heads are at that. Uh, we're actually further along than people probably realized. You know, when yeah. we launched the OZ-9, everyone was asking for a smaller version, and so they didn't know that we were behind the scenes doing it, and we will eventually be bringing it. You know it how market. many, what all the optics cuts is gonna come available in, or is it just gonna be one uniform? It, it'll probably start uh, with the whole sun here, and okay. then as we progress, we'll start to integrate more dedicated optic cuts. That's EPS carry? Uh, yes. Yeah, EPS carry. You got it, you got it. What size uh, magazines and magazine compatibility as well? So the magazine, uh, it's funny, it's a question we've been having a lot yeah. here. So we're kind of going back and forth a little bit about maybe utilizing Glock magazines, maybe some SIG magazines. Like I said, it, it's not fully uh, finished being designed. So, okay. uh, but we want people to be able to utilize magazines they have, whether okay. it's a, you know, a SIG or a Glock. 
Yeah, you don't. Yeah, that's that's actually a good idea. So whatever way you go, I'm pretty sure people will be happy. Um, I would like to see a Sig myself personally, just because of the capacity yeah. with the macro mags nowadays. But yeah, this is really cool. Thank you, yeah. Wesley. You want to hold it? Here you go. Get it out of your mouth. 